Colorado. Welcome to Colorado. We're really looking forward to doing a bunch of stuff in this state. Oh my gosh, it is my first time in Colorado except a layover between flights in Denver in the airport. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't count. <laughs> that doesn't count. That doesn't count. It's going to be the first time we've ever stayed in Colorado in the RV. We're really excited. We just left Dinosaur National Monument on the Utah side. We did come into Colorado a bit to visit the Colorado side, so make sure you watch that video because that is an amazing park. But now we're coming into Colorado for several weeks. First stop, Steamboat Springs, which I'm super excited about. We're traveling US 40, and I just gotta tell you, the GPS is telling us the other name for this road is the most awesome highway name I've ever seen in my life. It is the Dinosaur Diamond Prehistoric Highway. Wow. You gotta love that. That's pretty cool. So stick around. Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Stacy. I'm Tom and we're RV Texas y'all. We are native Texans and full-time RVers who are all about exploring the great state of Texas and beyond one campground at a time. We're on a mission to experience life, not just live it, and we're bringing you along for the fun. In 2018, we sold our house, our business, and got rid of most everything we owned to hit the road and see America. Our home is a 33-foot RV named Freedom. We installed an extreme solar and lithium setup so now we can just about live anywhere with our dog Star and our cat Astro. Every day is a new adventure, so join us as we RV America, y'all. So we just got here a little bit ago to the Steamboat Springs KOA, Steamboat Springs, Colorado. This bridge we actually crossed to get from the park headquarters to our campsite. This is the Yampa River. How beautiful is this? Pretty cool, and now we're actually they give free bus service. Their city buses here are free to go into town. So we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna go try to find a restaurant and we're basically winging it here, guys. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so we are. We're gonna go check it out. Woohoo! <laughs> So here we are at the front of the park and uh, we walked up here. You can see a neat little playground behind us and right behind the playground is a pool. We hadn't seen a pool lately. Mini golf over uh, to behind us here. Yeah, so. And here's the bus stop. Yeah, so, all, all sorts of amenities. Yeah, during the day, those free buses that take us into town run every 20 minutes starting at about 6.30 in the morning. And uh, at night, the last bus is 10.32 p.m. And they run every 30 minutes at night after a certain time, after 9 o'clock. Well, if we can figure this out, ain't no reason to drive the truck. I'm telling you. We might as well just chill, kind of like Disney. That's right. <laughs> we'll leave the driving up to them. Well, we just got off. We got into the town and Stacy pulled the wire to have him stop. And we have no idea where we're at other than being in downtown, I yeah, guess. Yeah, this way we get to walk and see what's down here and get a, get a feel for it without having to look out a window the whole time. But, well, that worked out great. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So let's see what we could find. And it's totally free. Totally free. Woohoo! Yeah. Make your 
own set. They make your salad for you. It's a family salad. They make their own buttermilk ranch and balsamic vinaigrette dressings. You choose your meat from the meat case and then they guide you, but you cook it. Very interesting. Oh my gosh, that was the best meal we've had in a very long time. That was fantastic. Service was outstanding. Shout out to Derek, a fellow traveler who we had the pleasure of meeting today. Safe travels, man, be, be good out there. And uh, wow, when you're in Steamboat Springs, you gotta come to 8th Street Steakhouse. <laughs> great way to start our stay here. Yeah. I got to throw in quite the experience. I mean, it wasn't just a phenomenal meal. It was an experience. And uh, that, that was really cool. Today we're at the Shack Cafe. It's right here in downtown uh, Steamboat Springs. You can't miss it. It's been here since 1969. It's breakfast and lunch. They're open until 2 o'clock today and uh, breakfast all day. Had some very unique items, so that's what we're giving a try. I'm getting huevos rancheros, which you gotta like that. And uh, Tom is getting a the chili relleno, chili relleno omelet. omelet. With a, with a pancake. With a pancake. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Another fantastic meal. Oh my gosh, that was delicious. It, incredible. I, I, I got to tell you, folks, is that everywhere we're going, we're finding in incredible spots America is alive I, and it's <laughs> it is awesome to see and uh, so glad we're getting out of COVID and all that and these people the food has been terrific the service has been terrific oh Kim here was our server she's fantastic thanks Kim and you're, this place is right at Lincoln and 8th Street, right in the heart of Old Town Steamboat Springs. You can't miss it. You gotta come here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, amazing. We're gonna get on to some more fun stuff. This place is happening. <laughs> <laughs> So if you come down to the Steamboat Springs Visitor Center, you've got to take a look at what's behind me. This is an 1890s stagecoach. It was, it's the original. There were two stagecoaches between 1890 and 1909 that came between, made the trek between Walcott and Steamboat Springs. It was a 74 mile, two day journey. It carried nine passengers on the inside, six on the roof, and in 1903, it cost $6.50 for the two-day journey, one way. During the winter, they would replace the wheels with runners. We just stopped by the Steamboat Chamber of Commerce and got us a bunch of good literature. The lady was real nice on the inside to help us kind of figure out what we're gonna do over the next few days. There's a bus stop right here. It's at Angler's Drive. Um, is that right? Yes. Okay, I thought it might be something else. Angler's Drive, and uh, pardon the sunglasses, but I just got these in town when we were in town. We had, had breakfast, you saw the place where we had breakfast, and stopped by a sunglass place and got me a new pair of shades. So it is bright out here, but wow, I'm liking the new shades. And they can see me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, stop by. The Chamber of Commerce because they got a lot of literature in there and they're very helpful to kind of help you maybe plan out if you only have a few days like us. We've got four. Uh, this is our second day and uh, we want to make the most of our time. I think we will. Well just walking around town we found Mountain Tap Brewing and actually we had this pegged on our uh, little Google map that we would have probably gotten here I don't know but it's really good 
We just enjoyed uh, a couple beers. Stacy did a flight of three. Uh, I kind of showed that. I, uh, but uh, the beer was really good and had some crazy popcorn. It was a popcorn appetizer, but it was really good. Really, really good. We're gonna try to get back for some pizza. We'll see if we make it back. Hopefully so, because it's a neat place. And on Tuesdays, oh yeah, for every uh, pint you buy, or in my case, I had a, a three sampler, which equated to one pint, you get a token worth a dollar that you get to choose from four local charities for them to donate a dollar for each one of those tokens that they get. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that was really neat. So we are really loving the convenience of the free bus that picks us up right here at the KOA and takes us all over Steamboat Springs. We rode it all day today exploring. And it's hilarious because we were just talking this morning as we were heading out to, for our adventures that this campground seems to be constantly improving and, and working. And when we left this morning, the bus stop here at the KOA had four bucket seats. We get back and there's a brand new bench here. <laughs> Like I said, always working to improve. We're really impressed by that. And yeah, this bus is awesome and free. We're cooking up some specialty burgers today. Check it out. And we've got some vegetables in there. These are from Miller's Meat Market in Llano, Texas. And I got to tell you, this meat market was phenomenal. They had awesome stuff. And they they vacuum seal the stuff you bought. So like they vac they vacuum sealed two gourmet burgers for me in one pack and we did multiple packs of that. And then like steaks, they do two small ones in each thing. So it was perfect for Stacy and I and perfect for the RV. But it's perfect for everything. I strongly recommend Miller's. I mean they're really good and we're gonna be eating good tonight. And how cool is this? Yeah, at the KOA here, this is the first time I've ever had this. Um, our own grill. I mean, how easy. I mean, we were out exploring all day and the last thing you wanna do is get the charcoal going and everything. Just fired this baby up and we're able to cook. That's that's pretty awesome. This place is really neat. Uh, we're, we're enjoying this. I wish we could get in the pool, but I, I don't know if we'll find time to do that, but you never know. We might. So this is day three here in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. And believe it or not, even though we've been out exploring every day, today is the first day that we're taking the Jeep to go out and explore. We've been taking the local bus everywhere, the free transportation. But today we're going to Fish Creek Falls uh, which is just north of town, but there's no bus to take you there. So let's go check it out. So today we came up to Fish Creek Falls. This is part of the Medicine Bow Route National Forest. There are three hiking trails here. We're going to do two of them, I think, or at least portions. Uh, the first is the Overlook Trail. There is a $5 entry fee to come up here, but if you have your National Parks Pass, it's free. Woohoo! Let's go see the falls. Let's go see the falls. So this is a paved trail all the way. It's short, takes you to some falls, and it's accessible for anybody. We just passed a gentleman coming the other direction in a wheelchair. I love that. Anybody can do this trail. This is the Overlook Trail. Okay, so now we're gonna do the second trail that's right off of the parking lot, and it's the, the Fish Creek Falls Trail. This one isn't paved, this one is gravel, and we're only gonna do the quarter mile because the one that's a five mile trail, it, 
the, the lady at the Chamber of Commerce yesterday said it's a 3,000 foot incline in that time. And no, thank you. <laughs> we'll stick to the fun stuff today. But uh, yeah, let's go. Ooh, it's cooler here. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. it is cooler. Right here, you can kind of feel a cool breeze. Yeah, very interesting. I can see why the Chamber of Commerce told us this is the number one thing to do when you're in Steamboat Springs. You have to do it. Yeah, and it, it's a short hike down here, and the other hike is short too, but this, this hike is well worth it. Now, it's not as accessible. No. Uh, it is gravel. You are going downhill to come down here and uphill to get up, um, and it's a little bit rocky in places, but nothing major. Yeah, and the water is cold, it feels good. Oh, wow, when I put my hat in and put it on my head, yeah! <laughs> it does feel great. Feels good. So there's two parking lots here at the falls. The one we parked at is right here at the trailheads. There are pit toilets and everything tells you that there's water available up here. But right now in August of 22, there is not. They've closed off all of the water fill stations. So make sure you bring your own water because it does get warm up here. The building next door to it, which was the Route County National Bank building, This building was built at the same time by the same people, 1919. It was the Route County National Bank building for a long time. The Route County National Bank building, uh, or the bank, was actually the only bank not to go under during the Great Depression. And it was the only bank at Steamboat for a number of years after that, although they, they moved down the street to where Wells Fargo is now. So we just completed the historic walking tour of downtown Steamboat Springs. It was fantastic. Uh, this is Thursday morning. Right now, that's when they're doing them. They meet at the Community Museum, which is right across the street. But the last stop here on the uh, tour, by the way, which is free, the tour is totally free, um, is this bell. We're at the United Methodist Church. It's one of the older churches here in Steamboat Springs. And this bell was donated by a family of a man who came to Steamboat Springs for health reasons. He had tuberculosis. Unfortunately, he didn't survive, but he told his family back east how much the people of Steamboat Springs took him in and took care of him and really meant a lot to him. So the family sent this bell to a church that used to be over this direction. And it was the first bell this side of the Rocky Mountains, west of the Rocky Mountains. The 
so oh my gosh another great meal here in steamboat springs we just had breakfast at winona's right here behind us it's right here on the main strip uh, on lincoln it was fantastic i had corned beef hash it was awesome i never ordered that but it was great tom had an omelet but he had grits as one of his sides very unique never had anything like them absolutely delicious and again 100% top-notch service. You can't go wrong here in Steamboat Springs when it comes to food. Behind me, you see the ski jumping place. That is Howelson Hill. That brought recreational skiing here to Colorado. He was a Norwegian. That goes back in my family history. Uh, he was a Norwegian that came here in the early 1900s and he was an Olympic skier. And he brought that, and that has really influenced the area. They've had over a hundred Olympic athletes come out of here, and uh, they've had at least one representative in every Winter Olympics since, I believe, 1932. So, and they still train here. The Olympic team, the U.S. Olympic team, still trains here. So, that is pretty cool. Unfortunately, we found out that they even during the summer, they do some jumps and stuff there because they wet down the grass and they jump and land on the grass. Uh, but we didn't know that they do it like on Tuesdays. So if you're ever in the area during summer, on Tuesdays, you might come down early, you might get to see them jump. Yeah, so here in Steamboat Springs, the art museum is free. And wow, it just takes me back to my mom and seeing all the paintings and everything. And I mean, she could hold her own with a lot of those in there. And that was the national. It was the Oil Painters of America National no, exhibit. exhibit. Yeah, Oil Painters of America National Exhibit happened to be here. And of course they had the winners and everything and you can buy the paintings too. I mean, there were some that just knocked your socks off. But uh, yeah, really cool, it's free. I mean, if you, if you like art and paintings like that, it's worth the stop. It was really cool. So we're back at the Tread of Pioneers Museum. This is the Community History Museum and this is who gave us the free walking tour this morning. We decided to go do a few other things, have some breakfast, wander around a bit, and now we're back and we have a buy one, get half price on a second admission from the Chamber of Commerce. It's not that expensive anyway. I think a regular adult admission is $6, but let's go check it out and see what they've got. tour this morning he taught us about James Crawford who is well it was the Crawford family he and his wife and children who started the town of Steamboat Springs um, they lived here for five years basically amongst the Ute Indians before any other pioneers came this way and this kettle he brought from Missouri with him it's got to be one of the oldest things here pretty amazing and what about this stove? Oh, this stove, it's a wood stove. It says it was purchased at the World's Fair uh, in Chicago in 1894, and they used it until 1960. Wow. <laughs> this is the lighted man. And every year during their winter carnival, he skis down all lit up. Pretty cool. So the Tread of Pioneers Museum. Wow, fantastic. We spent a couple hours inside. Really gives you an in-depth look into this community and how it evolved and how it became Steamboat Springs. And 
really, really super cool. Highly recommend it. It's actually housed in the Zimmerman House, which was built in 1901, but it's been home to this museum since 1959 and was moved here in 1988. And don't forget to look on the outside. You'll see uh, a wagon that belonged to the Utter family, one of two that they used to come here from Iowa, and they arrived in 1902. Love these history museums, and this one is very well done, and it's got some interactive stuff as well, which was really neat. We're about to do the Howler Alpine slide, which is actually over here. But before we do that, we get to go up on the ski lift. That's gonna be fun, so let's go. Well, here we are. Woohoo! My first time on a ski lift. Uh, Not mine. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Yes, it is. Wow. So right here in town, literally a couple of blocks off of Lincoln, which is the main drag through town, they have a rodeo arena. And during the summer, right now, they're doing rodeos. It looks like every Friday and Saturday evening. And unfortunately, of course, we're leaving on Friday. We're gonna barely miss it, but I bet it's a ton of fun. And it's super convenient. We're over here by the library, and this is where one of the springs are. And this is Sulphur Spring, and you don't want Smell-O-Vision right now. It does not smell good. It smells like sulfur. But um, this town was actually pretty much where it got started was because of its springs. People came here to try to get healthy and stuff back in the day. So the first tourism here back in the early, early 1900s was folks coming here trying to get in. The, they even said some people bathed in the sulfur springs right here. People that had arthritis and stuff and some claimed it actually healed them. But like Stacy said, I, I bet they didn't smell too well when they came out. Of it. <laughs> but there's a bunch of springs all around here. In fact, one of the springs is right over behind the uh, railroad depot over there. And that is Steamboat Springs which the town was named after. So obviously it was just after that, then they started the skiing stuff. And then in 1963 is when they really started major tourism with skiing. Uh, that's when they put in the big lift and, and a bunch of the ski runs and stuff. So we told you earlier on the uh, historic tour that we learned about the family who donated the bell to town. And uh, that same family donated a thousand books and had them shipped here to Steamboat Springs to start a public library. That library took on all new meaning in the 60s when a local skier who was a world-renowned skier, Bud Werner, was killed in an avalanche in, uh, when he was 27 years old. I believe it was in Switzerland and the town came together and donations poured in and they wanted to do something with those those donations that would be worthy of honoring his name and so they built this library and you can't really tell it from this side but if you look at it from the other side the sun is not cooperating with us right now to show you that but the architect who was norwegian 
built it to look like ski slopes and to fit in with Warner's love of skiing. So that is pretty cool. Wow, West End Sports Grill. Another great meal, guys. This was not our first plan to come here tonight. Uh, we tried several other places. They were all crazy busy, but I am so glad that we ended up here. This is right on the end of Lincoln. Fantastic. And again, very good service. Welcome to our campsite here at the Steamboat Springs KOA. This is site number 114. Before we get into that though, I'd like to mention one more thing about Steamboat Springs that we thought was fantastic. Back in 1947, an Associated Press article came out about the community and said that of 1,700 residents in Steamboat Springs, 1,685 skied. So they became known at, from that point forward as Ski Town USA. <laughs> so this is the Steamboat Springs KOA. This is a new section actually of the Steamboat Springs KOA. They just paved this from what we understand in June of this year, June of 2022. This is August of 22. We have absolutely loved our stay here. We have loved our time in Steamboat Springs. As always, not enough. A couple things we didn't get to do. The Yampa River Core Trail. We wanted to take the bikes and ride and uh, wanted to do a little more hiking. Wanted to take the gondola up to the top of Mount Werner. And we were actually thinking about doing that last night. We tried to do that earlier in the week and uh, they weren't running because they're doing construction up there, adding new gondolas. Uh, but last night they were doing uh, a happy hour up there and uh, but then bad weather started to come in so we decided against it. So maybe next time. But our site here at the Steamboat Springs KOA, we are 30 and 50 amp full hookup. We've got this fantastic patio with furniture. So we didn't have to get out any of our furniture. We've got a fire pit and we've got this propane cooker that you saw Tom using earlier in the video. And I know it looked like we ate every meal out and we did eat out a lot here because there are some fantastic restaurants, but we did also cook and it was nice not to have to pull out our own grill. So highly recommend the Steamboat Springs KOA. We will 100% be back here. Absolutely have loved it. Very quiet, very clean and really nice people. Hope you've enjoyed this video. We are off to Granby, our next stop, just about 85 miles away. And uh, so make sure you're subscribed so you can be along for more of the fun. Until next time, y'all, safe travels and happy camping. Bye.